welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making sweet and sour pineapple kielbasa. So what you need is one package of kielbasa. This is a 14 ounce package. We're going to cut that into whatever size pieces that you want. I just like to cut them into bite sized pieces. Okay, the kielbasa is all cut up. Now I am going to take a frying pan and drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil. Put your heat on medium. What you want to do is just brown the kielbasa. And I'm just going to let this brown for about five minutes. Okay, we've got our kielbasa all brown. We're going to just set that aside. And then you're going to take a saucepan and we're going to add one cup of brown sugar. and three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm gonna mix that together. Make sure you don't have any lumps from your brown sugar. Then we're going to put that on the heat around medium. And then we're going to add one and three quarters of a cup of the juice from the pineapple. You need to strain that. Um, if you don't have enough, you can add water to make up the difference. Pour that in the pan. And we're just going to whisk that. until it becomes almost like a gravy consistency. It's going to thicken up. Usually takes about two minutes. Okay, it's been three or four minutes. Um, you can see the sauce has thickened up. That's the consistency that you want. Make sure that you whisk it pretty much the whole time that it's boiling, but be patient. It takes a few minutes to get it thickened. You want to take that off the heat. And to this mixture, we we'll want to add a fourth a cup of vinegar. I'm using just plain white vinegar. Whisk that in. And then we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using low sodium. I'm 
plus one. And a half. And then we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And whisk that all together. And then we're gonna take our pineapples. This is a one pound, four ounce, or 20 ounce dole pineapples. I did drain the juices to use earlier. And we're just gonna put those into the mixture. Give those a stir. Once you have it all stirred up, you're gonna add your kielbasa. Stir that in good. Then we're going to take a baking dish. And add all of your ingredients to it. And we're gonna put this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 23 minutes. I'm going to take my pineapple kielbasa out of the oven. Mm. And it is done. You can serve this over rice or noodles or just eat it plain. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.